Hey guys, today we're reading the book, The Tree in the Ancient Forest. And the tree in the story is a pine tree. So I came out here to my backyard to sit under my pine tree. Now, I can tell that my pine tree, what it is, partly because of the bark, but also because of pine cones. If you take a pine cone, I wish I could find one that's that's not open, but if they're all smushed up, you take it inside, it will open up as it dries in your house and the seeds are on the inside. So then you could grow your own pine tree. The other thing is pine needles. That's another clue. These are really good to go under your azaleas. And then when I look up, you can see it's daylight during this one. I can see the, the, the pine needles out there on the tree branch too. So I know this is a pine tree. But my pine tree is not as old as the one in the ancient forest. Let's read about this. It's kind of pretty out there. It's a pine forest. Looks like the artist made it. This is by Carol Reed Jones and the illustra illustrations are by Christopher Canyon. I think the illustrations in this one are really good. This is the ancient forest. This is the eagle. He has a bald eagle flying through. This is a 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. These are the roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. These are the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. So those are the truffles. They look kind of like brown brains to me. These are the tiny voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. There could be voles in my yard because I've seen their tunnels. Moles are voles. This is the owl that flies at night that hunts the voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. Who's coming? Run little mouse. Run. These are the sleepy owlets that are fed by the owl that flies at night that hunts the voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. This is a hollow in the tree, home of the sleepy owlets that are fed by the owl that flies at night, that hunts the voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. If you look in his, in his um, claws, he has caught a mouse. This is um, part of a food chain too, because the tree grows the truffles the mice eat the truffles, the owl eats the mice, takes them home to feed his babies, her babies. This is the woodpecker, searching for ants that started the hollow in the tree, home of the sleepy owlets that are fed by the owl that flies at night, that hunts the voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots, that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. Do you see any ants? Ants are tiny. I don't know if the artist actually made any ants visible. This 
is the saucy chattering squirrel that scolds the woodpecker searching for ants that started the hollow in the tree, home of the sleepy owlets that are fed by the owl that flies at night, that hunts the voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. Look at them, they're having a standoff. The woodpecker's like, leave me alone, I'm just eating ants. And the squirrel's like, you're in my territory. You can hear some birds in my backyard. Probably see some squirrels too. This is the hungry, stealthy martin. Kind of looks a little bit like a fox. That stalks the saucy, chattering squirrel that scolds the woodpecker searching for ants that started the hollow in the tree, home of the sleepy owlets that are fed by the owl that flies at night, that hunts the voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300-year-old tree that grows in the ancient forest. There he comes. Shh, watch out, squirrel. Bonk. A pine cone got him. These are the fir cones that fall from a branch and startle the hungry, stealthy marten that stalks the saucy, chattering squirrel that scolds the woodpecker searching for ants that started the hollow in the tree, home of the sleepy owlets that are fed by the owl that flies at night, that hunts the voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300-year-old tree that grows in the ancient forest. The squirrel is jumping. He's made a leap of faith to get away from the marten and the, the fur cone dropped on his head, the pine cone. This is the 300 year old tree that grows the fir cones that fall from a branch and startle the hungry stealthy marten that stalks the saucy chattering squirrel that scolds the woodpecker searching for ants that started the hollow in the tree, home of the sleepy owlets that are fed by the owl that flies at night, that hunts voles and mice that tunnel and eat the tiny underground truffles that grow on roots that draw food from the soil to nourish the 300 year old tree that grows in the ancient forest. So if you look, the artist made the pine cone falling down after it hit the marten on the head. That is a big tree. I don't even know if I could get my arms all the way around that one to hug it. That was the last page, but it tells about the characters in this story. I will hold this up. That is a lot of words. So you can pause on this page and zoom in if you want to and read about all the characters in the story. Um, starting with a Douglas fir tree can be as old as a thousand years and as tall as 300 feet. And it tells what it's home to. Wow. That is, and then it has a picture of the author and the illustrator, which I always think is cool. Give them credit for making a nice book. So my class looked up, what is the oldest tree in the world? Hmm. Would it be a tree that was a thousand years old? A thousand is a big number. But what we found from Google is that there are trees that are 4,800 years old. That's more than a thousand. That's almost really close to 5,000. That would certainly be another tree in another ancient forest. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for learning with Miss Roseberry.